Thunderbolt. Nailed it, dude. Got it, dude. This is, this the, is a high quality production. <laughs> is there anything worse than all you're getting? All, all we got out of yesterday, though, was, dude, maybe we should double check things, <laughs> which is like such an annoying, like, learned no, lesson. No, your exact words were lesson learned, triple check. <laughs> Because the last time that happened, your lesson was double check. I love how it took you both like almost 30 years to figure that out, dude. <laughs> like, I should have to reread things. <laughs> Damn, dude. What, what's fucked up is like I got offended by what you just said, but only <laughs> but only because I, I was picturing that I had started podcasting 30 years ago. <laughs> Oh, yeah. And I was like, damn, I'm still in Jeff's basement. No, double checking <laughs> applies to everyday life. Every- <laughs> yeah, you're too, right. Like your stove. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Podcast is like real life, dude. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. There's... It's too accessible to the public. That's what that's what you can get out of that. It's one of those moments where you go, bro, even a fucking moron can click a button. <laughs> and I fucking didn't click a button. I was like, God damn it, dude. They have like literal literal people that can't work in the daily world. Dude, it takes be like we could do that. That's why people go to college to film. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 See what it gets you? <laughs> Just fucking yeah, I went to button buttons. boot camp, dude. Yeah. <laughs> It was, uh, yeah, it was, uh, it was one of those things where, like, the teacher's like, all right, guys, everybody hand in that weekend project. And you're like, weekend project? Did <laughs> I do that early for some reason? Like, <laughs> you start saying things like, I think your mic was bad. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> start blaming the Did equipment. one of you guys trip over the cords or something? <laughs> Damn, Russ, you unplugged it. Oh, <laughs> He's God. sitting all the way over here. We were having such a fun little riff, and Jeff gets up. And when he sits back down and we're all having a laugh, it was like he was somehow telling me that he farted and my dog died at the same time. He was like, I have some really bad news. You may have already smelt it. (laughs) Yeah. Well, again, I think I was off camera for like 30 seconds just in the dark going, (laughs) going like, what could we do? I could tell them. I could tell them. (laughs) I could be honest. That's about (laughs) all I got. You were over there just like (laughs) anamorphing into a fucking you monkey. Know the situation's bad when you're like, fuck, I shouldn't even lie. You're like, I, shouldn't. I considered it and I was like, I got nothing. You know what would have been sick is if you came back around the bookcase and you just had full clown makeup on. Yeah. <laughs> Jeff just runs away. <laughs> Jeff just... Guess what I'm going to be when I grow up. I, I'm going to start keeping a clown mask next to my bed if I come too fast. I'm just going to throw it on real fast. <laughs> Damn. She turns around. I'm like, I oh, know. It's on me. She's scared of clowns. She's like, this unlocked a whole new sexual thing for me. Actually, <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ, I am terrified. Yeah. Of clowns. Are you? Yeah, dude, I hate them. Really? I hate them. We, me, Kyle, my girlfriend, and George Miller went to Fright Fest in Delaware. Right. And we like walked through, and I'm like a big pussy. I don't, it, I don't love same. any of that, dude. I don't, I don't understand eliciting fear as like an emotion. That's just a terrible idea. Absolutely. So we walking through, and uh, there's this one little like trailer that you have to go through. And as I walk in, all the lights turn on, and it's just clowns fucking oh, no. everywhere, dude. I screamed like a little girl and ran. Oh, no. Yeah, Kyle, Kyle, <laughs> Kyle, George, and my girlfriend were left behind, dude. I had the clowns killed them, dude. No, that's fine. Dude, that's so not sick. not letting that happen. You guys remember when, like, those people would dress up like clowns and, like, follow people yes. around in public? Yeah. That's, like, one of my biggest fears. I'll kill those dudes. Happen. Yes. I wish I'll that, kill them. I wish that was still happening. I wish it was just, like, deer. They were just, like, on the side <laughs> of the road. <laughs> Wasn't that just, like, publicity for, like, a movie coming out? I really, I really hope so, dude. I feel like that, it was. I've sat with that for years. <laughs> 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 like, the chances fucking, are low, but not impossible. I live upstairs on the upstairs part of an apartment and check the windows very constantly to make sure there's not someone just like looking. At me, <laughs> Do you, you know? live in the city? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. There's nothing funnier than being like, bro. I think a clown's out there. You're like, what, on the subway? <laughs> He's all a clown on the yeah. sidewalk. He crossed the other side to go next to a giant black dude. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm He's more like, comfortable I feel safe with, with you. masks than I am <laughs> with clown masks, dude. Like, this guy's being normal. <laughs> this yeah, guy's yeah, fucking... Yeah. There are ops out here, and they fucking wear clown masks, dude. Clowns is like a rational fear, I feel. Like, some people have irrational feels, fears. I feel like clowns, you're like, I get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I respect. I don't. I'm not scared per se of them, but I don't love them. Yeah, no, I can't trust something with its emotion painted on its face like that. <laughs> you can't always be sad. That's crazy. You would hate my girlfriend. <laughs> That's crazy, <laughs> That's crazy dude. dude. You're smiling right now. Your favorite TV show that was canceled was brought back, and that's what you look like. <laughs> that's what you look like. He was like, dude, fucking Ted Bundy was disgusting, dude. Oh, wait, who's the clown one? John I Wayne fucked Gacy. that up. Yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah, you're not, dude. Dude, <laughs> see? You, know, <laughs> you see? 
I don't fuck around. There was with like these a clowns. twinkle in his eye, but like a bad twinkle. It was like a negative twinkle. Dude. He Whoa. won't think you're allowed to say that, dude. Yeah, <laughs> I don't think you're allowed to say that, actually. There was a little Nas X in his <laughs> eye. <laughs> Hey. With that, let's introduce let's our guest. Let's start the show. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't cut out. We have Sorry. the best segues of all time. Yeah, that's uh, actually what we got the trophy for. Best segues. <laughs> that's why I love Seamus' uh, his opening to your last episode or whatever. <laughs> Seamus goes, cut that out, cut that out. And you guys just keep going. <laughs> 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 like, <laughs> also, Seamus is live editing. <laughs> before he makes cool. me laugh again, our guest today is Logan Mallon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Philly comic fucking philly legend also jersey comic jersey legend yes man who can relate to ourselves yes dude garden, king, garden king of two Prince. states yeah dude garden state <laughs> Prince, dude. like we're, leonardo we're, dicaprio yeah. from the departed the, <laughs> from the, like, the, the prince of the brotherly garden sounds like the gayest <laughs> disney movie I'd watch it, dude. I'd probably get cast in it <laughs> as like the villain, as like the yeah, guy. You're a like, villain. You're a Disney. Get villain. out of our garden. <laughs> <laughs> I've said it once. I've said it a million times, dude. You look like the villain in musical who just talks all his lines. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're like good looking Gargamel, dude. <laughs> <laughs> dude, just <laughs> you just knocked my hat off, dude. Is there anything funnier than uh, the context of being in a, a, a musical and then just being like, yo, the villain hates songs. <laughs> yo, and you're yo. like, it's a musical. You're like, yeah, he's not thrilled about being in it. <laughs> he just talks. Dude, he does. I refuse to sing. <laughs> it's just off key just, the yeah, entire yeah, yeah. time. I won't. Every, all my lines are, no. <laughs> <laughs> he's in Rent. He's like, you have AIDS. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we should have brought someone more whimsical to break that news. <laughs> <laughs> It's AIDS. We hired a oh. real doctor to play this doctor. <laughs> we hired oh. <laughs> Yeah, we, we cast based on bedside manner. Oh, Je man. Jeff, I do not want you near my bedside. Are Unless it says a table, place? you'd be so strong. No, I hate, hate musicals. You my hate fiance musicals? Like, was in musicals, though. So Yeah, and were you in plays in high school? I, I did, not in high school. Earlier in life, I did some plays. I acted until I got my first non-callback. Oh yeah! Oh, I thought you were gonna say. I acted until I felt out. rejection. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I get that. No, I think I think Loki. If I'm being honest, a minor offering. Uh, I think I just was doing like acting because I was like, I'll get to kiss a girl eventually. No, that's exactly. That's, yep. Yeah, that's a bummer though. It's a good move. Oh yeah, no, but like it's a bummer, it's a bummer though. though. You know. God, I hope I get this part. Why? I just really want to fucking kiss that girl. Well, dude. she auditioned. <laughs> she auditioned. She signed up for it. Yeah, dude. An audition is consent. <laughs> It's a bummer, dude. Wait, because I joined the musical my senior year, and they asked me why. They go, you never joined a musical before. And I go, yeah, I pretty much struck out with every girl in the school. I figured theater girls, you know, right? got to be next. I was thinking arranged marriage was going to probably be for me. <laughs> That's what it is. It's a it's an arranged marriage an for kids by, like, a gym teacher. <laughs> with the power vested in me in this whistle. <laughs> Damn. Do you think the, uh, the the teachers putting like like strategy into when they like assign kids as lab partners? Oh yeah, I think teachers are throwing yeah. throwing oops out. D there. Uh, like fucking Professor Cupid over here just like, "No, no, no. You and Jeff." <laughs> <laughs> I think you got to be worried about when the teachers like, "You should work with me." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a second. Wait. No girls like me? No, we got an odd number all of a sudden, I guess. <laughs> he, he kicks a girl out of the class. <laughs> yeah, no, 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 no. Lisa, you you're actually looking through. under the weather. Maybe you should go to the nurse's office. My lab partner got mono again. Again, <laughs> dude. Uh, I guess you're just going to have to come over to my house on Friday. <laughs> Did you did you have like any uh uh in retrospect questionable like teacher relationships oh, or like or teachers who you were like even friends with that you were like wait he was fucking my classmates um like, not even oh, retrospectively like, <laughs> moment, like this is bad I'm yeah. like, <laughs> oh I thought you meant like I was going to dinners <laughs> oh what dude we had a dinners. we had a teacher um who who uh. He got in trouble. So, like, there was a girl in my grade that he was, like, very close with. He was the women's track coach, right? And it's you can always. even look this up. And he was, uh, so anyway, he goes. <laughs> no, he that's goes, an arranged marriage. That's <laughs> just like. 
first of all, you're you're immediate red flag if you're like I'll coach women's track and you, you don't you don't have a kid. That's always the flag. Yeah, yeah, bro. You don't have a child. <laughs> you're not doing this for the no. love of the sport. I don't even have, I have all sons. You're and like, also, even here? if you were, the sport is legs. Yeah. <laughs> they were like, dude, we were asking for basketball. Why'd you scream <laughs> women's track so fast? He's like, I wanted to do field hockey, but does masks cover up their faces? <laughs> <laughs> if I wanted to fuck a chicken a shiesty, I'd call up Meek Mill. <laughs> you didn't tip me. Producer. Um, fucking, I uh, can talk shit on Meek Mill because he did not tip me, so that's fair. That's, and you're going to get blocked like academics. Uh, <laughs> I uh, So anyway, this teacher, though, was like really weird with students, and he went up behind one girl one time, and he whispered, I love you, into her ear, right? And she went to the guidance counselor. This is when I had gotten out of school. But he was always weird to her classmate of mine. And uh, she went to the guidance counselor. The guidance counselor, who was mine, shout outs, uh, <laughs> said to her, said to her, well, what were you wearing? And it no. Dude, and it became this huge thing, right? And uh, it ends up going to the court. The family sues, right? And they do an investigation on this guy. Pull him out of school. While he's pulled out of school, he gets brain cancer and dies, dude. The the the, 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 PE, God, the track coach? The track coach. God dude. was like, don't do that. Dude. That's what dude. I said. Karma got him, dog. <laughs> we figured it out. And then the courts came out and they ruled against him. They were like, Yeah, you know, like he, he was that was not cool. It was bad. And uh and fucking what? everybody in the town was like, That's so fucked up that they would come out and say that. <laughs> Like, that right, guy he's died. Dead now those people never got touched or made to feel uncomfortable. They're like, obviously something was wrong with his brain. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> how long did he have cancer? You know, like it's like, how dedicated so, are you of women's track that I, you guys are shipping him so hard? I'm still hung up on the question of what were you wearing? Because like I've been running it in my head, and the only answer that's acceptable is like. Actually, I was dressed exactly like his wife. <laughs> like, like, he's an older guy. He doesn't have great vision. Maybe he had a tumor pressing on his brain. He was a little crazy. Thought I was his wife. Yeah. That's the only... That's your only out, dude. Dude. And yeah. And the best part was the guidance counselor was a woman. That was, you know... So oh! Shout out. I feel like I should say... Should I say her name? I don't know about that. Yeah, no. maybe don't defame her. Yeah, it's, you can look what? it up, though. Shout out. Go Lions. That's <laughs> crazy. That's crazy. Craziness. He dude. said, he said, I love you. Yeah. <laughs> Which, like, my parents have never said that to me. So I would immediately go to an adult and be like, this guy's not okay. That girl was like, something's <laughs> wrong. Dude, well, he was like, weird. Yeah, you're like, either something's definitely not okay, either with the teacher or with my home life. <laughs> yeah. Like, like, either I need to get, I told you, I love you more, or this girl has a problem. And the adults there don't care. So I hope somebody here does, you know? Fucking, uh, yeah, no, he was always, like, he had, like, uh, he was really close to a girl in my grade, and I had a crush on this girl while I was in high school, so this is why I'm so <laughs> vivid on this memory. <laughs> you and, rat dude, bastard. Dude, I was just like, how am I getting cucked by, like, the 40-year-old math teacher? This is crazy, right? <laughs> like, you know, I was like, You're damn, I really wish she was into 15-year-olds, you know? <laughs> like... You're grown down to fucking uh, uh, meet the parents. You're talking to her dad, and then like halfway through, he gets up. It's just the teacher. Yeah, <laughs> he's like, just like he's running this. Like, all right, you know, sport. Yeah, no, he would like take her to dinners and shit, dude. Like what I remember, he was chaperoning, chaperoning. Yeah. Finally, he says, "I love you." She's like, "I'm getting like a weird vibe." From well, him. that was thing. you're like candlelit Olive Garden didn't give it away, dude. That's crazy. <laughs> Applebee's not during happy hour. That dude. didn't give it away. The, well, the, the thing it was a different girl. Damn. Right? That he had said that I love you too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then um and then a few years later another teacher had left his family for a girl that was a grade younger than me, right when she had graduated. So I was like, it's crazy. South Jersey's high school is going to have two teachers die of brain cancer. Yeah. Dude, that's <laughs> fucking nuts. <laughs> like, that's, that's fucking crazy. <laughs> I like that they were like, it's fucked up that they announced it after he had brain cancer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just Everyone being was like, so mad. He, hold on. He died a pretty, pretty big part of this community. <laughs> All right? Then you guys said he was guilty. That's bullshit, actually. They're like, he's a huge Flyers fan. So, like, I don't know. Also, maybe these teachers should have taken some time away from diddling kids and spent a little bit more time teaching Logan the difference between correlation and causation, yes, okay? 100%. I, also, I still don't know what it I, means. And he just said it at me. And I'm, I'll be honest, 
I almost wanted to fight him. I, dude, <laughs> I was like, you insult me? Dude, I, should I fight You insult me right? and my dead hero teacher? <laughs> How about I consult my teacher with brain cancer? <laughs> see if this correlates. Damn, dude. He had brain cancer. She had shapped lips. Dude, <laughs> Jesus I wish, Christ. I wish Logan was the uh, the member of the jury who stood up and they were like, and uh, what do you find the uh, plaintiff? And you go, yeah, we, they said it was like not chill what you were dude, doing. Dude, not cool. Instead of a jury cool. of your peers, if you get arrested for pedophilia, it should be a jury of the victim's peers. Yeah. <laughs> like, like, oh, kids. <laughs> not cool, bro. That shit was L's in the chat, dog. Yeah, for dude. real. He's like mean. <laughs> Yo, he's actually he's fucking sweaty guitar hero, dude. Oh, dude. The sweaty's the new thing, you know that? Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, like, I've heard sweaty. Yeah, I, dude. Maybe sweaty. getting sweaty. I don't know. It's getting new. Sweaty. I, I mean, it's new enough that uh, fucking six year olds are asking me if I'm sweaty at Fortnite. <laughs> And I'm like, I don't know, dude, maybe. They're asking you if you're trying hard. Yeah. That's what I think they're asking if, like, you can handle it with your heart. <laughs> like, do like, the I colors do get your heart rate up? Dude, if you get down to a, if you get down to a, a final three in a battle oh, royale, dude, my up. heart's pumping. I will stand up. I might have. Video games. And then I'll die and finish third place and be like, <laughs> dude, that was close. <laughs> you're a better man than me. See, my girlfriend tries to ban me from video games because I will put the controller through a wall. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm like, uh, everyone's like, Logan, why are all your controllers broken? I'm like, because I'm an adult and I can buy new ones. <laughs> <I was> like, <laughs> you're like, well, if I can't say it, I'm going to throw it. <laughs> I'm going to beat the shit out of this. Because control. I don't have all the fucking meta guns right now, actually. Yeah. It's not even my fault. I just don't have the game. Yeah, I just start explaining to people that don't want to hear anything about it. <laughs> well, I was using this character. He was super OP. They nerfed him. Now I have to use this other guy. He's really only like my fourth best guy, so you're not even like watching my best work out here. <laughs> then the landlord's like, can you just give me the yeah. rent, please? <laughs> like, <laughs> also, please stop putting holes in the wall yeah, with the controllers. Stop screaming. You're scaring the other <laughs> uh, Whenever my girl sees me die in a video game, I say, stop making me horny. It's distracting. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. Dude, we, um, me and my girlfriend play together. Like she has oh, like a sweet. screen and I have a screen. And we play Call of Duty together. Oh, and, okay. Uh, she that's is sick. vicious to people because like as soon as they find out she's a girl, everyone immediately starts attacking her. And I remember I'm like just I'm sitting. I haven't even started playing, and I walk in, and she's playing, and she's like, "You little cuck ass bitch." That's what I fucking thought, dude. That's I bang your dad, cool. dude. Yeah, my girlfriend's on on it. That's yeah, huge. no, like honestly, She'll like around. I've n I've never seen this happen with my eyes, but like if I picture her, she's like on your shoulders yelling at someone. Oh like, yeah, like yeah, like, yeah, like yeah. she has like fierce energy. She Sid's scary. Yeah, she approaches uh, uh conversations like the conversations a bear, and she's trying to make herself as big as possible. <laughs> Gosh, Mountain lion, whatever that works on. I dude, don't. I don't fight animals Sid's anymore. Sid's the only person I've ever seen tongue tie Kyle Regan, dude. Like, really? just like attack Kyle until he's like, I'm so fucking. Shut you up, hit Logan. Logan, dude. Like, do you do you <laughs> hit Logan? <laughs> Logan, you live with this? Yeah, Logan, do you hit her? Are like, you good? I'm good. Shout out Kyle Regan. If you guys don't know him, uh, uh, getting Kyle Regan to not be able to say something is like, honestly, like having. A successful debate with a gorilla like yeah, like dude. it's like if you could have talked harambe down <laughs> i actually don't like to compare kyle to a gorilla i like to compare him to a sweet little teddy bear because he's nothing but sweet to me i don't make him get tattoos that he doesn't want nice. but that's you yeah you're bad uh, I, I would treat you like shit too we we got to schedule kyle asap if you guys don't fucking know we do a, a fantasy football league with a bunch of comedians loser gets a tattoo chosen by the winner and i did win and I have good reasons, but I made Kyle get a tattoo of a football going through the Twin Towers. And it says, never forget. Isn't, like it, said isn't, good it, isn't it wild that Kyle was like, all right, yeah. but. <laughs> that story should sum up Kyle's character all the much. You're like, yeah, I can do that. <laughs> and then he, he got it. He had Dude. like really minimal pushback, which was the most alarming. He's like. Guys, for real. All right, but you better not. I better not hear other people complaining about tattoos going forward. I literally gave him all of those details as like separate options of a tattoo, and he was just like, "I mean, 
they work so well together. <laughs> He's like, send it. For I got a lot of ass person, to fill. <laughs> for a sober person, he is so easily susceptible to peer pressure. It's crazy. <laughs> that is tr- oh, it's true. That's his know? new drug, dude. Yeah. I, I, every time someone goes to rehab, they're like, find a new drug. It's like women or coffee or cigarettes or whatever. And for Kyle, it's like fucking. Like doing stupid shit in the back. You, tell me I won't. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's riding in the back of the school bus. That's yeah, his yeah. new addiction. Hey, Kyle, eat this. <laughs> <laughs> Kyle's walking up. You guys triple dog dare me to. <laughs> and you're like, nobody asked you to do that. He's like, I'll fucking lick the trash can right now. If you guys buy me a yingling. <laughs> He's like, like fucking shoe nice junior. Except he doesn't just eat whatever. He eats like shit. Oh, dude. Kyle's the man, though. Kyle's the man. Oh, I He's love him. He's the man, dude. He's... We're proud of you for being sober, Kyle. Yeah, we're super proud <laughs> of you. Uh, <laughs> cheers to you, Kyle, obviously. Uh, what happened? You all right? Mid. Was it that off? Was like, the light that off? You I, had to get up? I underestimated how, how big your nose is. It's <laughs> Both of our noses together are just casting a the, shadow the, over us. The, the, the little light, literally, he barely moved it. I thought something was like happening. Well, I was going to move it more, but then you, you made me feel seen in a <laughs> bad way. Male gaze. You didn't, you didn't say it. You didn't yell it out when you went to do it. That was the problem. You yep. weren't like moving the light. You <laughs> 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 kind of did it. Well, it was like real, a, it was real G's such, moving silence, dude. It was such a one inch move that I was like, whatever you were hoping to accomplish didn't happen, whoa, right? Whoa, it. whoa, <laughs> you know the one inch move is my signature. One inch move is your move, dude. <laughs> Yo, this is so fucking stupid, but I can't stop laughing. Have you guys seen the new Subway commercial for their foot long? Jared back? No, dude. Oh, fucking Jared right, fucked them up, dude. <laughs> Damn! Just saying. Oh no! Just saying, my man, my man's gonna be coming back. Oh. So I shouldn't say my man's. That's bad. Yeah. Yeah. He's yeah. like a Verizon. He's a guy. piece of shit, dude. <laughs> <laughs> dude, a, a Verizon wild. commercial with Jared on a prison phone going. Uh, can you hear me now? <laughs> I imagine if he doesn't come back and do a guest spot in the WWE, that would be have went, been wasted. You That's know? actually he could be the greatest heel of all time. Of all oh. time. I, I never the even thought of that. Chickler. Yeah. Like <laughs> comes out like do 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 do, you know, like <laughs> Dude, you could definitely make a good living going like sideshow to sideshow, just like getting the shit beat out of you. Definitely. Oh, dude, people beat pay up, a lot beat of money. Up Jared from Subway. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> come one, come all. <laughs> I, just, I I put a penny on it. <laughs> Jesus, I can't believe he's like even allowed to get out of prison. <laughs> That's what's great. I can't believe he's made it almost out of prison. Crazy. They've had they have to have him on like nobody goes near. Nobody's him. allowed. Like yeah, those like turkey isolation. sandwiches are doing wonders for him. <laughs> he still looks great even in prison. They haven't really stepped up with a new spokesperson since, really. Well, Dude, I feel like you can't. That's literally like what I'm saying. Is it scarred them? Yeah, like, like their marketing department is afraid to do anything. Their new promotion is for a foot long cookie. It's just a giant twelve Jesus inches of chocolate Christ. chip cookie. If you go anywhere but like. <laughs> Who goes to fucking Subway? I don't even know where there is a Subway. I went to Subway when I worked at a, a job when I was like 19 because like it was the only thing I could get to in like my short break okay, was to yeah, get yeah. to a Subway. And I would uh, I would just crush a, a foot long meatball sandwich like every day <laughs> and be like, I feel like my jeans are getting tight. <laughs> and like Subway's like, we help you lose weight. And I was like, damn, bro, I can't believe they got meatball sandwiches that help me lose weight. They went from calling you sir to big man. <laughs> they, went from like... they don't tell you it's only part of your diet. You also need regular exercise and pedophilia. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm like, I'm eating baked Lay's chips. That's healthy. <laughs> well, I like... turned on the documentary because I love a good weight loss. <laughs> and I was like, this isn't that at all. Biggest <laughs> loser? <laughs> Dude, Brendan Fraser makes a whale sequel. <laughs> Turns out it was the story of Jared the whole time. <laughs> Over the trilogy, you see him go from fucking fat man to skinny man to pedophile. Well, you know what I fucking... I was just thinking this the other day. Have you guys ever done... Uh, like, I'll like, call myself like a fat piece of shit, but then I'll be in the presence of someone who is a fat piece of shit, yeah, and I go, so damn, I wonder what they think I... You know, I think of them then, if I think I'm a fat piece of shit. <laughs> and I have to, like, pull it... Like, res- like pull back a little bit on uh, my self-deprecation. But I was thinking about it the other day. Like, being a fat piece of shit does not mean you weigh 400 pounds. Being a fat piece of shit is behavior related. Like, if you're 90 pounds soaking wet, but you eat Doritos and Funyuns and Mountain Dew, you're a fat, you're piece, a fat of piece of shit. You're a fat piece of shit. I get that. You're a fat piece of shit. I, you can have a I thyroid think, problem. Yeah. You're not a fat piece of shit. No, you have you healthy have habits. Right? You have a, you have a- <laughs> I think it's like it, it, you are a fat piece of shit. 
but there's so many categories that you more readily fit into that like I, I, you know what I mean? It's a harsh three words. Yeah, <laughs> but I feel like earlier I was heating up food that didn't take that long, and I had to have a snack while it was heating up. Nice. And I was white trash. And I was like, I'm a fat piece of shit, dude. <laughs> it wasn't like it was a 20 minute cook, dude. It was like a fucking four minute nuke. And I was like, I, I will can't make eat it. Desserts before, like while the dinner's being made, <laughs> yeah. and then be like, I need it, I need to, to eat the dinner to make the dinner. Yeah, exactly. I need the energy. I need the sugar rush. I need Reese cups to knock out this salmon. <laughs> My girlfriend's like, "Are you eating ice cream right now?" I'm like, "No, I'm making mashed potatoes." Yeah. <laughs> so I, you, you know, like the the expression, like you flew too close to the sun, right? I, I navigate the world by like doing the opposite. Like I, I let myself like like I, I let myself get like dangerously unwell. So then I'm like, oh, I have to make food now. <laughs> He's like, I don't try even a little bit. <laughs> I like, barely get off the ground, really. I'm like the opposite of striving for success. Like, the way I go to bed is I stay up until I'm so tired that my eyes are closing while I'm watching something. Yeah. And then I, and then I go to sleep. <laughs> It, it, is, he shuts down. it is hilarious to be like, Icarus, a man of ambition. He died of ambition. You're like, that ain't me. Yeah. That ain't me. I'm whatever lazy what? Icarus. No, no, not like, no. I never left my house. Didn't even know there was a son. <laughs> oh, fuck, dude. You guys are flying pretty close to that. <laughs> it's like, we're on the earth. <laughs> Too close for my liking. No kitchens oh. in the sky? I'm not into it. <laughs> But uh, no. talking about Subway, the TikToks, you guys ever see the TikTok trends of kids that'll go in there? No. And they'll be like, hey, can I get lettuce on that? And they'll put lettuce on it, and they'll just keep asking for lettuce. Yes, yes. I have seen it. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Dude, I've watched one before coming here. <laughs> just endless lettuce? The kid, goes, the kid goes, can you toast that for me? And he pulls it out of the oven. He goes, yeah, can you toast that for me? <laughs> <laughs> Until it's fucking black. And the guy's like, the guy's like, yeah, man, I can't keep doing this. And he's like, yeah, normally they toast it for me. <laughs> I'm like, dude, just like like anybody who says kids today aren't hilarious. They're so fucking funny. And they have no care about like public shame. And None. it's beautiful. I, oh I God, that's funny. just, oh, I, I don't want... <laughs> I hate it. <laughs> like I agree, it's funny. Like if you did that, that's funny to me. But every time I see some kid with a fucking poodle, fuck, <laughs> somehow, somehow his hair is curly poodle hair and also like emo Peter Parker hair. Yeah. I don't know how they even do it. Yeah, secret child Just technology. <laughs> that's okay. Listen, they're all. It's funny because they're actually burning through this hairstyle a little too early. Mm -hmm. Because really, you want to burn through your little weird push, uh, frilly poodle front when your hairline's receding. So that way, you could push it forward. Exactly. That's you're true. You're doing it too early. Yeah, shaving the fronts, it's weird. It's gonna look weird when you're forty trying to do it. Come you're season like, four. Didn't you have that hair when you were nineteen? <laughs> like, imagine I went back to the Justin Bieber. Like, imagine I went back to the Drake Bell. Fuck it. You know what I mean? It's yeah, like I have a biff too. I could never. Like, that right yeah like my shit's just like all over the place. I could never. <laughs> oh wow man yeah, yeah, your hair's looking good i haven't though. seen your hair in a while yeah, dude. I know, dude i know i've been growing it out it looks good to, thank you I'm yeah been trying to get the jeff flow oh, here no, you don't want that. just goes straight down dude even it's... with jesse dram yesterday every single person that has somewhat longer hair and a beard they're like you know you kind of look like i'm like just any guy with any long way. hair and a beard <laughs> piece of shit. someone's like how about you, you kind of look like this guy i'm like the fucking guy from ozark yeah, yeah i don't yeah, think yeah. so i wasn't weirded out the other day they were like logan you look a lot like jeff Colell. i was like have you ever met him <laughs> <laughs> that guy's a fat piece yeah. of shit <laughs> you're like i'm 90 pounds i eat three doesn't drink mountain dew i'm not a fat piece of shit I look like Jeff on AIDS, bro. I look like I look like Logan fucking beat his heroin addiction. Yeah, dude. I never really saw it, but then like when I when you lean forward and I get this like line, yeah, I feel like I'm looking into the future and past. Like I can't tell if Jeff's your ancestor or your dad. I'm the the I'm the origin, more of the caveman type. Yeah, dude. I'm Jeff's premature baby. This is what your child's gonna look like. <laughs> Logan came back from the future to make sure me and Jeff fuck. He's so sick, dude. <laughs> if we don't fuck, he's gonna disappear, dude. <laughs> this does. You kind like, of are a mix. This does look like a weird Snapchat filter oh, you guys no. caught in the middle, dude. This is like <laughs> if we rock the if we rock those Dragon Ball Z earrings, Logan's just gonna pop up, dude. 
<laughs> so if we're gay, <laughs> if we're gay. now on, we should just rotate. I'm gonna rotate in between you guys and see if you're anybody catches. We'll just do like five I'm minute in. excerpts of me in the chair. I'm in, dude. <laughs> let's do it. Is Rusty screen, screening him wearing in. something else. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I I do feel Rusty like he seems less manic on this yes. episode. <laughs> just, just, just. When did Rusty start selling heroin? <laughs> Instead of using it, yeah. his hair started to look better. Actually, <laughs> that's crazy, dude. <laughs> That was so real. <laughs> that was so real. That's so out of pocket. Yeah, that w- yeah, that would that be nuts. So We're wearing hats. Real. Both of us are wearing I hats. Know, but it was so funny because we both know what your hair looks like. <laughs> now that's a bummer, dude. <laughs> You're a piece of shit, dude. That was so funny. Watching My response Rusty. was only real because what you said was real. Oh, I know. My God, watching Rusty go from super high to like your. Dude, really? Yeah, like, that's like, crazy. Rusty almost pulled out his gun. <laughs> dude, <laughs> oh, dude. dude, I don't think they would let me have one. <laughs> oh, my God. I think if you, if you, if your eyes can't face the same direction for more than 30 seconds, you shouldn't be allowed to have a gun. Dude, can't risk it. <laughs> if you can't name five guns, I don't think you're allowed to have a gun. You need to, like, no Call of Duty a classes. Frat, a frat gun <laughs> law. <laughs> if my eyes is lazy, I can't imagine how my trigger finger is. Dude, after being in Rusty's car, if he had a gun, he'll go to jail for 35 <laughs> years. Dude, you fucking... You dude. can never own a gun, dude. Oh, true, dude. I That's fucking... Cool. Don't have a gun in your car or your purse. Please. Ever. Why not? You... It'd be one of those things where they're like, is that your dad's gun? <laughs> like, I, don't think, I don't think it's yours. Like, you didn't get it yourself. They didn't give it to you. I feel like you're a lot like me. Like, I would I would always pull it out. If I had a gun, I would I would use it. Like, not like shoot no, it, I'm... but I'd brandish it constantly. Scratch your head. Yeah, dude. <laughs> fucking, yeah. I'd fucking, like, you know, if I'm in traffic and I'm angry, I'd probably take the clip out and, like, fucking ricochet. <laughs> <laughs> fucking... Six cells. Throw that like, back. Like, <laughs> like, kicking your shoe off. Yeah, you yeah, you fucking the mat. hit them from the fucking sunroof. <laughs> Dude, when I was a kid, my dad would get into fights with, uh, like, bicyclists and, like, uh, trash trucks and stuff. And he would open up the sunroof and he would throw... You remember the old Snapple bottles? They were glass. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. Uh, yeah. Not good things to throw. He would throw Snapple bottles out of the sunroof <laughs> while we were driving. He'd be like, fuck you, piece of shit. And they'd be like, fuck you. And he'd be like, oh, yeah? Fucking, <laughs> fucking oh, torpedo, what? like, cannonball of fucking Was your dad in the war? No, dude, my dad's just a man, <laughs> dude. He's just a psychopath. You're like, my dad's just the man. Just the coolest <laughs> guy ever. He's like, Snapple fact, this is also shrapnel. Yeah. <laughs> I sh- distinctly remember... A trash shrapnel truck, like, fact being, being parked like sideways on like Richmond Street or something and my dad's like trying to get around them and they're like yo you gotta wait and my dad's like let me through and they're like back up back up we're not gonna let you through and my dad's like fuck you guys puts it in reverse opens the sunroof and just <laughs> rockets a fucking puts a fucking snapple right on the side of the truck and just reverses all the way back down <laughs> Richmond Street you pieces of shit. He gets into dude. he gets into two arguments that morning. He only had the one snapple prepared. He has to chug the other one real quick. He's like, "Oh, boy, <laughs> you guys are in so much trouble." I, I thought he was thirsty. Liked iced tea. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it turns out he was using it as weapons. He's like, "You know what I really like about these over sprites? They <laughs> hurt <laughs> people." <laughs> Wait, so would he yell at them when he did it? Would oh, he... yeah, dude. My dad was like, my dad's classic Philly dude. Like, That's sick. Talk shit to you, and then, like, if you get the best of him, you're catching a glass Snapple bottle across <laughs> the fucking head, dude. <laughs> it's like, oh, sunroom open. Like, the sunroof opens. Dude, yeah. Like, <laughs> you, you trouble. Would, and the best part is, like, the, you know, I have siblings, so we'd all be in the car, and, like, you'd see him get heated. And like start like <laughs> pressing it down, we'd all look at each other like, "Oh, he's gonna fucking throw! It. He's gonna kill someone he's today!" Gonna, he's like, he's like searching for something. <laughs> <laughs> Your quickly finisher slide yeah, it yeah, to yeah, him. Yeah, exactly. He would like grab something, and be like, "Nah, that's not good enough," you know? <laughs> like fucking thing. Your dad oh, going to a fucking uh, Toyota dealership? Yeah, you got sunroofs on these bad boys. <laughs> I'm actually trying to be. Let me sit in it. He's like checking the mirror. He's like, he's like fucking ah. cannonballing, dude. It doesn't work for me. Yeah, dude. It was like pirate warfare. Got anything warfare. with bigger cup holders? <laughs> Yo, pirate. That's pirate literally warfare. like Philly pirate shit, dude. Yeah, dude. It was crazy. It was crazy. He's out of his goddamn That's mind. That's crazy, dude. He, dude. He, he was throwing empty Molotov cocktails. <laughs> dude, he was just 
fucking rough. And I remember like seeing people go, oh, what the fuck? Like yeah. seeing glass fly through the Dude, camera. if I got my car got hit with a Snapple bottle, I'd be like, oh, 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 oh <laughs> someone's dying today. Is that how you throw a Coke can at my car? <laughs> His dad's leaning out the window like shrapnel facts. You're a homo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like that's the best part too. Like you're being made fun of the entire time by this man, you know, and he's throwing shit at you. And he's making fun of you and you're like, shut up, dude. You drink raspberry tea. Yeah. Dude, why am I being heckled like a 1930s circus freak? <laughs> this is, uh, you know, like people say things like, I'm going to call the cops. And my dad's like the kind of Philly guy. Call the cops. Call them. You know, call them. You know, call fucking them, fucking yeah. <laughs> dude, yeah, your dad puts on his police cap. And he's like, oh, ring me up, bitch. I am the police. <laughs> yes. He was called, and they'll be here in four hours. <laughs> like, I've, never, I've never even seen Philly police step up to do anything. No. I've uh, never, ever seen them do anything. As long as they're, as long as you don't have a gun or a dead person yeah. around you, yeah, you're pretty, they're pretty much like, keep it moving, guys. It just seems like it's inconvenient to stop you. Uh, yeah. You I know? do have some bad karma coming my way, though, because I did actually accidentally get a bunch of homeless people raided the other day. Whoa. What? <laughs> what? You snitched? Yeah, I did. I did Why? snitch. Because... They take over the escalator area of the, the Snyder station, and if you don't know, and you start going up the escalator, all of a sudden, you're in a group of usually two to five people doing heroin, and being pretty cautious about it for the most part. They're just trying not to, you know, you don't want to do heroin in the wind. <laughs> you're trying to heat up your spoon, the breeze is cooling it down, dude. You're being good about it, yeah. doing it inside. Sorry. Sorry about that. They're using their inside heroin. Uh, <laughs> what fails to mention is they're all sitting sideways across the steps. Yeah, it, it, it does happen, but it's usually a few. I swear to God, I went up there the other day, oh, I look up the thing and I could see there's too many, so I'm not going to go that way. But then the lady who's next to me, she's pushing her kid on a stroller and she pops the stroller onto the escalator. So I honestly went up to be like, that way's quicker for me anyway. I'm going to watch this lady's back because she's about to go into the fucking lion's den. Dude, go lions. Uh, <laughs> go lions. <laughs> the lion's heroin den, dude. Yeah. <laughs> dude, dens are never pleasant, dude. Whatever. Uh, <laughs> so I, I fucking, I'm on the escalator behind her and this fucking crackhead fucking stumbles and falls backwards down the escalator holding a heroin needle oh and it was like God. luckily she like it was like not like going like fucking up fast so she kind of like was able to like catch herself before she got like down to the stroller lady but i'm like this baby's about to either get a heroin addiction or superpowers uh, like she fucking genuine. just needle Damn, flying through bro. the air imagine the mom just tries to get in front of the baby and you just eat a heroin needle to like the fucking rib cage dude. you're like no <laughs> this imagine. is what motherhood's about dude boss baby spinoff boss baby secret service <laughs> baby secret service i was thinking Heroin baby. Boss, 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 <laughs> I, was heroin I thought baby. he was going. Was now, I imagine they're on the escalator, and Rusty's like, "I gotta be a hero," and you see it like flying through the air. And it's about to land on the baby, and Rusty just jumps Rusty's out. Rusty's like, yeah, <laughs> "I'll save you." you see his That's eyes so go tight. lazy. <laughs> it's slow mo music you. video. The needle's already been in your arm for three minutes. No. You're like, "I actually am currently tripping. I didn't even realize." Dude. Rusty <laughs> wakes up five years later, homeless on the Snyder stage. <laughs> <laughs> that baby comes up it's like six years old he's like you actually saved my you life saved one my day life. I wake up homeless in the Snyder station Logan's coming up the escalator <laughs> as I fall with a heroin needle the, the loop is complete the fucking cycle continues yeah but I grab a baby and put it in front of me yeah but <laughs> you break I, I, the I fucking, cycle yeah I fucking I switched it I dude switched. Everything, Rusty all, evil. everything, <laughs> everywhere, all at once, yeah, in my veins. My inception heroin, right there. Jeez. I fucking, oh, dude, that's fucking gnarly, though. So you raid it. So then, what? You told I told the a septic cop. I told the septic cops. Nice. I was just, like, they're never doing shit anyway. They're like, they're like, we know. Yeah, I was like, <laughs> I was like, yo, it's sunny. <laughs> I was like, if I was talking. Three, four, five <laughs> respectful heroin addicts. Yeah. Like, like some really like. You can't have them falling around. Like, <laughs> sit down when you're, you're doing either, it. You're either kinda, dead or you're not, okay? <laughs> the kind of dope head you could bring home to mom. Yeah. I don't want my dope head standing up. <laughs> I just uh, want them not waving needles around like it's the great Gatsby, dude. They're like fucking like. They got them up in the, the air, belt. dude. I imagine that you went up to the septic cop and dropped like a. 
Hey, so I don't want to be I, like yeah, that guy. Yeah. I don't like want to be that person. Listen, I don't care if you do it. You, all right, you, 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 <laughs> you got a little too pathetic. It. The impression was perfect at first. You prefaced it. Like, hey, I, so I take the subway every day, and I expect <laughs> I expect Sailed. five to oh, ten people Sailed. doing heroin. You got like 30 dudes in there right now. Like, it's just too many. It's just, And I get people are homeless, but it's just too many. It's just too oh, many. God, dude. Listen, 10, 15? Okay. 30? <laughs> this is... I'm done. Look, I don't mean to be that guy, you know, but the Phil- Philadelphia is really going downhill. <laughs> you know, like, do you remember what Philadelphia used to be? How long have you been a cop around here? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. How long have you been here? You're like, look, I respect you and what you do, <laughs> you know, uh, but these guys, they're making a mockery. <laughs> you know, they're, they're making a mockery out of heroin. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like you start every conversation with an authority figure like, listen... Yeah, I'm an everyday run of the mill guy. You come to their level somehow. Yeah, 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 Listen, yeah. I work for a living. You work for a living, right? All I'm right. A white guy, you're a white guy. <laughs> you know, a... just relate on a very grounded level. Why are you getting away? What? What? Why are you getting upset? Because you know that's what happened. You're right. Yeah, that's exactly <laughs> what happened. You know I try to. I, I have to be very cautious. Thank God I've gotten arrested so many times because now I really know how to talk to cops. I thought I knew for a while. Thank God. I was just upsetting them. I was. I was upsetting them so Probably. much. Probably. What were you? How were yeah, you speaking how, to how them? How did you used to speak to? Cops? I. It was kind of like a like a debate moderator. Like <laughs> like 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 I would speak to them as if like. Like I was the person sitting on the curb, but also his lawyer. Like, like I'd be like, Here's like what we're gonna do <laughs> now, officer. I respect you, and uh, I want to help this however I can. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> like you're in charge of what's happening. I, I used to talk to cops like they were gonna commit suicide. Like, <laughs> like I'm like, hey, so look, funny. wait, I know you've had a long night. Uh, probably a long life. But <laughs> I bet you, I bet you've put your hand on your holster a time or two tonight, just thinking maybe tonight's the night. I'm telling you, it's not. You're like, it's not tonight. <laughs> I like to go up to cops and fake them out. Like, oh. <laughs> just kidding. Just kidding. Ball tap. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Some guys are the bad cops. Some guys are the good cop. I can see you <laughs> wrestle with both. <laughs> There's two cops inside. You, one of them's good. The other one's bad. Uh, it's fucking. They're kissing. It's Mr. Nimbus. He controls the police. <laughs> controls the police. <laughs> it's like my favorite bit ever, dude. That's the- <laughs> that one is good. Uh, They're like making out the whole time. Hey, uh, were those cops just making out right there? Just oh uh, yeah, it's Mr. Nevis. He controls the police. <laughs> that one's up there uh, for Rick and Morty, along with that of acid that and acid and the uh, fucking uh, having sex with the hive mind. And he's like, I need a stadium filled with all your redheads, a hang glider, <laughs> and every guy who looks somewhat like my dad. Yeah. <laughs> and they're going, go son, go, go, go. son, go. go, son, go. God, I want it. <laughs> Bringing iced tea in as a uh, as an interdimensional crystal is one of my yes. favorite things too that's ever happened. Oh man, that show is so many hits, and it, it just gets you, you know me. I'm basically a hipster. Too many people on the ship. I got I got to fucking you get bail? on the plank, dude. Oh, yeah. I love, Rick but it's still Morty. great. But you can still enjoy it by yourself Did and you not watch fucking. The newest season? I'm pretty sure. Yeah, because they changed the guy. Oh, yeah, I think they, so. All right, so actually, all right, so Justin Roiland, right? He fucking got, he like... He's trapping women. Yeah, he's uh, just, uh, he's, allegedly. he's fucking uh, just Listen, some stuff in some Subway sandwiches. I don't know if he got married. <laughs> I don't know if he ever got married, but my man was grooming, all right? Yeah. He was grooming. Yeah, it was not good. He was, tra- he was trying to slide that foot-long cookie. Uh. Just, I feel like people do not understand paper trails, dog. Oh, it's like, why dude. do it on Twitter? Why are you doing that? Also, how much money do you have? You're like fucking the voice of video games and shit, dude. You can't it's have like WhatsApp. <laughs> you can't have. Imagine I gave you an age demographic and I said zero to a hundred. You just can't touch this seventeen well, percent. And not, oh, and not to like, dig crazy. too much just on the Royal and chicks. I actually do want to know what they replaced him with. But fucking, uh, I. I just hear he's just a weird guy in general, and the thing that he actually went down for actually happened during the pandemic. So I think everyone just kind of forgot we weren't in the time chamber. <laughs> wait, wait, be like, hey man, are you a pedophile? Whoa, whoa, it was the pandemic. Yeah, I was dude, getting I was stir crazy. Well, no, no, it's like, all right, so <laughs> like, chained to a radiator. Sure, <laughs> who didn't? It I wasn't was, allowed to let her outside. It was COVID. <laughs> I think it was. sometimes we need structure in our lives to remind us to behave ourselves and maybe he just didn't have the structure of work and he forgot to hide that he was a pedophile you know active pedophiles oh. work every day right yeah that's, <laughs> no, no, that's why no that's days why. off dude. <laughs> have you ever met an unemployed pedophile oh man 
Dude, it's so funny. It's so funny if you're a fucking kidnapper and the pandemic happens and you go, we just bought ourselves three years. I'm not allowed to let you outside legally, all right? Biden will rip my stimulus check away from me. You have to stay indoors. You can escape, but you have to wear a mask. (laughs) That's so funny, actually. It'd be so just being like, this is actually the greatest loophole of all but, time. Like, like, like shit like that happens all the time. Uh, do you remember the the McDonald's monopoly shit? Like they they used oh, to the min- scam yeah, guy yeah, yeah. or whatever. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, so he got the they used to do at McDonald's the monopoly thing. You buy a drink, you buy fries, you yeah, get the yeah. stickers. I loved that shit. But it turns out that like there was like a suspicion suspicious pattern of winners, and they realized a guy who worked there was stealing the tickets, giving them to his buddy. And he and was they winning. Would, like, cash it in yeah, or whatever, right? and it was yeah. a huge scandal. And they arrested him, and uh, he was supposed to go to trial uh, like eight a.m. on the morning of nine eleven, and everyone just forgot. Isn't you it- gotta love that? You know, I mean, you know, you, you don't want to. I don't want to say it. Those are moments that I believe in God, dude. You it's know? no, a hundred percent. They say God works in mysterious no. ways, so it has no. to be. Dude, it's just like, yo, no, yeah, like, I can't co sign no. you two fucking savages. No. It was just like one kid's errant birthday wish. He's like, I wish dad didn't have to go to work tomorrow. <laughs> I like to admit, though, that everyone's like, you know, there was like 90, 100, you know, 90,000 people that were supposed to fly that morning on 9 11. Like, there's only so many, like, seats on the plane. Every person ever is like, you know, I was supposed to be on that one. Yeah. And you're like, oh, were you? Like, I feel like 9-11 is truly just a thing you can make up unless you're, you know. Yeah, I was supposed uh, to be on that plane. Easy. Easy? Unless yeah. your C-run is easy. But, Yo, like, for the why, most part. Why isn't there one guy? There's just one guy who's like, you know, I was supposed to be on that plane. But uh, something came up, sold my ticket to a nice Arab man. <laughs> like, <laughs> he was scalping outside. <laughs> No, the uh, I was at a front row, right next to the cockpit. I was at a <laughs> best seat in the house. We're selling, we're selling, we're not buying. Um, <laughs> and, uh, the uh, no, I was at a show. I was at a green room. I was in the green room of a show, and there was a comic in there. And I uh, I showed them a video of a guy climbing a rock climbing wall, but he didn't strap himself in. Oh no! And nice. Then he goes to kick off the wall, oh. and he just lands on the. I'll show you guys the video after. The oh pod. my god! Does he die though? I don't want to see him. If he I dies. won't look. Well, so I don't want to see him if he dies. I mean, like, no, you can live I mean, with your legs reasoning. going through your I shoulders. Don't see <laughs> <it>. <laughs> I don't want to see reasoning. it. My buddy honestly <laughs> got do. <laughs> Puts on the Sherlock hat. He's puffing the the fucking pipe. Well, he doesn't look alive to me. <laughs> Breathing's not currently happening. Chest isn't so, moving. So I walk in. This is the day Drake put out his penis. Right? Oh, this, so damn. this is a good day for he internet videos, that, that. right? New dick so just dropped. I walk in <laughs> under the guise, "Hey, do you guys want to see Drake's penis?" <laughs> so all the comics are around me, and I'm showing them Drake's penis, and I was like, "You guys want to see another funny video?" And they go, yeah, sure. So I pull up this frog climbing video. And the guy falls on the ground, and I laugh harder than anybody else. <laughs> and you've seen it before. <laughs> I've seen it probably a thousand times up until this point. <laughs> and, and one of the comics goes, dude, what the fuck? He yeah. like, goes, what the fuck, dude? <laughs> that sound? like That's like PTSD. And I go, oh, my God. Did you know somebody who died that way? And she goes, 9-11. And I was like, were you? Like, oh, I didn't know you were around like 9 11 when it happened. She goes, No, from watching it on TV. And I goes, This doesn't count. No, that's not PTSD. You're, you're watching. Lying. You're watching the same videos I'm watching. Yeah, dude. dude that's the same thing. You beat me to a better just, video. It's, <laughs> the idea of some it's fucking mainstream. douchebag rock climber being like, I really just like empathize with the victims of 9 11 in a way you can never understand. Like when you're cl- like I cling on to the side of buildings for fun, okay? <laughs> yeah. I can't imagine being forced to do that. Like I uh it's got to be something you really love, like me. <laughs> I, well, I, I would have done great. I would have been fine. I would have climbed up and down. <laughs> I could see that it really upset her, right? Yeah. And I was like, "Oh, I'm fucked. Like I I got to make this right." So I was standing next to her and I was like, "Hey, uh, you know, I'm sorry about showing you that video. Like if it makes you feel better, he lived." Like I was reading and it said he lived and she was like, "Oh my god." Like, that makes me feel better. That means we can laugh at it. Yeah. And she walks away, and Liam Paris comes up to me, and he goes, that guy fucking died. <laughs> <laughs> I, was like, I was like, yeah, that guy's dead as shit, that is bro. Hell, that guy's brother. fucking... <laughs> did you see me hit the ground at, like, a thousand feet per second, dude? Did you hear it? It sounded like someone fucking punched styrofoam. <laughs> <laughs> you see his head rolled off screen, dude? I go... 
I go, yeah, but she wouldn't stop bitching, so I had to fucking give her a... It's like, oh, it says here they got all the king's horses and all the king's men on it. <laughs> Put them right back together. He's fine. <laughs> now, wait, so then do you find, like, death videos hilarious? Yeah, I think, like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, they're fucking sick as hell. I think I've been desensitized to <laughs> the world, you know? Like, look, I'm not... Look, the kid who just killed his dad and put his head on YouTube... Yeah. I watched that video get scrubbed in real time, oh, dude. Man. And the best part, like, so when that happens, right? Like, it's a, those to me are like cultural moments you should be a part yeah. of, you know? <laughs> yeah. So my girlfriend, uh, I'm about to leave. I was about to go to Two Street, and the video came out, and I was like, I, I ran in, and my girlfriend's like half asleep, like about to fall asleep, and I'm like, guess what? Just having some kid just cut his dad's head off and post a video of it online. I go, should we watch it? <laughs> 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 and I like click on the Twitter. Uh, thing and I'm going through it and you know how like Twitter's just no holds bars yeah, yeah. right and it's got autoplay on on the on the comments so I'm scrolling through and my girlfriend's like oh Logue, I don't I don't know if I really want to see this and yeah. one of the comments is just the video oh. and it starts playing and you see me raises his dad's head and I go oh and I try to scroll real fast and she goes was that it was that it and I go relax she goes why would you fucking show me that? <laughs> no it was a dramatization yeah. of what happened I go we both just saw it for the first time we're both processing it <laughs> like, oh should we watch it again <laughs> dude oh, I, I can't I can't I can't I'm not good at I'm not good at haunted houses. Yeah, I don't like that. I don't those. like that. <laughs> yeah, I, but I you're, but randomly you're like, dude, but if someone busts that dude's head open right now, it'd be dude. sick as sick as hell. You guys don't be getting high at like two in the morning, you're going through Twitter and you're like, nah. this video is My one buddy would up. send I, like death videos and I had to message him and be like, yo, I actually don't really <laughs> like these. I had to be like, yo, here's the thing, man. It's not even like we're in a group chat that I can leave. <laughs> you're just directly messaging me these videos and I don't want to see I'm them. Block <laughs> You did. <laughs> I do. I just like check out this guy who thought he was good at parkour. It, it's like sending someone porn. It's like I don't want to. I don't want to partake in the extremes of life with a friend. Like right? oh you know what God. I mean. Right. Like I'm not gonna invite you to the birth of my child. Like <laughs> I have a. I would. A, I would do every day on Instagram. I would wake up in the morning and I would click like. 12 to 15 people I know and I would send them like a vicious skateboarding accident <laughs> video dude oh. and I'd be like slam of the day <laughs> yeah dude I had a guy who used That's to send me fucking <laughs> nut busters and I fucking hated that shit bro nut like busters kid, yeah once where guys like went down on the rail and they yeah, fucking and crack them oh. dude I would send videos like, and my girlfriend would be like, "Logan, stop fucking yeah, I'm uncomfortable sending too. me these videos I'm, I'm okay I'm okay with I'm okay randomly with a skateboarder like hitting his nuts on a rail because honestly hitting your nuts is kind of always funny oh, even if it hurts about, like separate dude. your like fucking oh I don't want to see leg. that dude, oh, like, no. Fucking, oh no in like, retrospect <laughs> yo I never thought about this but in retrospect it was crucial to the formula of jackass that you knew that they were all fucked up on pills they had because it. because otherwise you would be like oh that hurt but yeah. instead you're just yeah. like yo dude you can't feel nothing dude <laughs> dude what? just broke his femur <laughs> let, let Jerry <laughs> from Subway go next dude <laughs> dude, Jackass had irreparable damage on, like, kids my age and yes. in my school, dude. We had this one kid, uh, eighth grade, they tried to do their own Jackass thing. This is when, like, YouTube was getting made. Yeah. They got in a shopping cart, and they rode, and they hit a curb, and the idea was for him to launch out of this shopping cart. And this thing was, like, maybe, like, a 15-foot <laughs> drop <laughs> into, like, a snowbank, right? And that was the idea. You watch the video. He hits it. He overshoots the snowbank, lands on the cement oh. breaks his femur in half oh dude. my god <laughs> dude the worst part was like that's horrible to have captured on video but it's really like what you say right before that yeah. happens that makes you look like such an asshole dude he's like hi i'm this and welcome <laughs> to motherfucking jackass and then he goes, oh, I don't fucking broke my femur. Sup, mom <laughs> i'm on tv this is gonna cost two hundred thousand dollars <laughs> I can't believe I quit that job and now I don't have medical insurance. It's crazy I'm doing this because I actually have a track scholarship. <laughs> Here I go. <laughs> I'm I'm in eighth grade. It'll grow back. It'll fucking it'll grow back. Yeah, yeah. My femur will grow back. It'll be fine. <laughs> this is my last ever video because I just got drafted to be a kicker in the NFL. <laughs> Dude, that I will say, jackass was something that I feel like you mentally know what it's about to be, so you have to be in the mood for it. 
But I'd always I'd be in situations where people would be like, should I throw on Jackass? I'd be like, uh, I don't know if I'm in the mood for it. Yeah, this is four yeah. seconds in, I'm like, I'm so happy you put this on without me giving you the okay. Because <laughs> immediately you're like, Steve O's gonna fucking dangle his testicles over a fucking swamp of alligators. I'm all in. <laughs> and dude, but they always had to like. <laughs> Like, like, if it wasn't terrifying enough, they were like, and his biggest fear in the world is alligators. <laughs> and it's like, all right, bet, dude. They'd be like, guess what? He used to wrestle a python, and he's very afraid of snakes. And it's like, yeah, he's, I am not, and I don't want to do that. And then you sit with people now and watch Jackass, and there's always one person that's like... You see, Bam Margera is really fucked up. On you're, like, you're like, yeah. yeah. Oh, well, you think? Like, you see how good Steve-O's doing, actually? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you blame him? Do you see, like, like if you go through the timeline and watch their faces one by one over time, you can see them individually, individually sober up and realize what they do for a living. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, like, like literally, the high wears off. He's just like. What do I put in my ass? <laughs> I realize Johnny Knoxville is a fucking menace. Yes. Dude, yeah. Dude, it's a next level. Because that guy, he's like, I think he's like one of those functioning drug addicts. Definitely. Right? He has to be. You can't definitely not do that, not on drugs, right? Like, you're. At least pain medicate oxy i mean so just probably just to film the dude, next dude, movie that's what i'm saying and then you got to think uh, like mickey he, rourke shit exactly yeah. he did that um eddie uh or eric andre yes. uh, thing and eric andre said that johnny knoxville was taking things too far yeah. dude sick like that's how you know you're eric a psycho andre is saying that. yeah he's like and eric andre they're like oh what was it he was like oh yeah i would just be sitting there and johnny knoxville would just light me on fire <laughs> dude <laughs> like what the f- dude what's great too is that he 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 was do the extremes, but I thought it got really brilliant when they started messing with the behind the scenes stuff. Yeah, where they're like, yeah, yeah, no, just go jump in that porta potty. You gotta go to the bathroom real quick. Come on, okay. we'll totally not launch that eighty <laughs> feet in the air. <laughs> also, terrible role model for you. You're like, wake your girlfriend up in the middle of the night. You're like, yo, babe, do you want to see yourself on fire? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, it's going to be so funny. The boys laughed so Dude, hard about this. I've jumped off more ladders than I can imagine thinking, oh. like, this would be hilarious to a group of kids because I saw this in the movie yeah. theater. Dude. <laughs> Hey, dude, it was, like, hurt myself. necessary for the, the economy, I think, right? Because, like, the, the upper class, they trade stocks. The middle class gamble, right? And the lower class, they needed something. And so He's Jackass came out and it was like, hey, you n- you'll never have any financial value. But as long as you have an unbroken bone in your body, <laughs> you'll make Good, a living dude. in this town. Do you, do you think that, like, do you think, like, pa- the parents that went into their kids and they were like, turn off the video games and go play outside? We're like, and this is what all the kids do outside, mom. You want to have me do Jackass? No, I got to play Halo. No yeah. idea, dude. Literally, they fucking jump over fucking. Homeless people <laughs> holding heroin needles. Dude, do you guys want to see? Uh, you guys want to see my arm? Yes. You want to see my arm? It, is, is, it, is it track marks or scars? Six times. Six times. I've broken my arm six times. I'll show you. Why. Show and tell. Jackass is bad for white suburban kids. Dude. Look at this. Hold on. And fucking straight bends. Ready? Here you go. Oh, oh, dude. I can shake your you hand. Can shake it, dude. Holy you shit. It, I can dude. Shake ready? It. Ready? Ready? Like that. You want to shake it? Shake it, dude. <laughs> <laughs> dude. Dude. You shouldn't saw you should never do any other handshakes other than that. When I was uh I did that, so I, we found that out when I was eleven. Oh. And I went to Catholic school and I would used to do that, you know, like peace be with you. I would like wrap it. The priests are like, like the get the over here. Devil, and then twist dude. Your arm, dude. <laughs> so maybe he's actually the child of one of us and the ring girl. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Dude, I uh yeah, so I um we used to have a trampoline. My dad got us a trampoline, but like a like one of those trampolines. Like you remember, like the early two thousands. If you just spent a little bit of money on something, you could probably have like an industrial version of that yes. thing. Yeah. So we had like a gymnast level trampoline <laughs> in our backyard, right? Like a huge fucking trampoline, no net, no fucking <laughs> safety at whatsoever. We're unsupervised, right? And I'm like eleven That's years old. That's like if old. I don't get the net, I could actually get this three times the size. Dude, <laughs> so we uh we put uh, a basketball net next to it. And my dad would always be like, stop jumping from the trampoline to the basketball net to dunk it. Because we would dunk it, and then we would jump back (laughs) onto the trampoline. And I jumped. I was maybe 12 feet in the air. And my cousin, who was standing under the basket, went like, just kicked it to the side. And I missed it completely and landed right on the ground, dude. 
snapped my arm right in half, walked it inside, and I remember my babysitter was like, I don't think it's broken. And I'm like, I'm holding it in two pieces right now. Like, it's fucking... If it's not broken, dude, dude you're fucking, a doctor. She's like, not on my watch. I think it looks pretty good. <laughs> yeah. when I leave, parent, when I leave, that happens. Fucking white boy flew too close to the dunk. <laughs> Wait, okay. yeah, dude, that's white why I'll trying never to try to dunk again. <laughs> <laughs> and that's why I'll never say the N-word. <laughs> My dad, I remember my dad picking me up and he goes, you were dunking that fucking ball. <laughs> Immediately knew what the... If you were out there showboating, weren't you? Like, no. You were showboating. You weren't using any of the fundamentals you I taught you. tried to East Bay. That's why white kids lay it up, you know? I fucking... I go, no, dad, I just fell off the trampoline. And he was like, I know you didn't fall off the fucking trampoline. You, go- <laughs> you shattered your arm in half. <laughs> You just fucking roll in there, dude, and you, like right before that, they just cut to you and they're videotaping you. Welcome, my name's Logan. Welcome yeah. to this episode of Black Ass. We're gonna we're, instead of shattering backboards, we're gonna shatter my arm <laughs> and racial stereotypes. Oh my God, dude. I remember distinctly like having like you know my siblings out there, and my cousin be like, "Yo, you guys want to see the coolest thing ever? Like, watch me fucking yam this." And fucking he went, "Yeah, I don't think so." And fucking, I ate the ground so hard dude and he wasn't even like a real cousin he was like a family friend that you're like forced to call a cousin yeah, dude. that's fire <laughs> he was never allowed i, over I like again. i like the idea of your dad coming home from work and seeing your shattered arm and he's like were you dunking again and you're like <laughs> you're like no dad i swear i was in 9 11 i was hanging on to the side <laughs> of the building i remember being like dude i don't even think of that bad my dad's like you fucking piece of shit <laughs> Your arm is destroyed. Oh, that's fucking. Isn't it funny? Like trampolines that should not be allowed to be used by children. No, really, absolutely in any not. Way, shape or form. Definitely not for adults. No. But like, it should just. It should be for that sport. Yeah. It's like you know what I mean. Like yeah, trampolines gymnasts, never end. I guess. You, know, you guys want to WWE trampolines. wrestle on this or what's up? Let me choke slam you off of it. I'm swantoning bomb. Yeah, yes. <laughs> swanton bombing off of that I f- bitch. I feel like they only let trampolines like like available to the public so that they could like secretly collect data on who's a good parent and who's not <laughs> yeah. you know what i mean like like you can't really find out who's a good parent through census but if you check the data on who with kids bought a trampoline uh you do you want the net with this how much is it 50 extra dollars i think i'm good yeah no that's ridiculous Bad father. i think <laughs> do i want to buy a net or do i want to have one less kid uh <laughs> what do you think i think uh yeah no and i didn't even learn my lesson because like i <laughs> I love trampolines, dude. I fucking... Dude, my girlfriend's like, what do you want to do for your birthday? I'm like, dude, Sky Zone. Sounds Sky Zone. Crazy. Dude. She's like, you're going to be almost 30 years old. You want to I can't Sky even Zone. I can't even do Sky Zone. No. I feel like I'm going to hurt my back every oh, time I'm dude, there, dude. I love a good tra- I was a high- I was a college and high school mascot, dude. I do like Oh, yeah. really? Yeah, dude. Did, you big. were the lion? I was the lion, dude. <laughs> I was the lion and then I was the uh mess uh, like I was a cavalier. Shout out to Cabrini, dude. Yeah, nice, yeah, that's dude. Me. We went to school together. Damn, dude. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, fucking... yeah, yeah. Drew is a fan of Logan. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Drew, Drew, Drew liked my work, dude. <laughs> <laughs> fucking. They're like, yo, wait, no. Shake his hand. Shake his hand, actually. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, if you think about it, like uh, the mascot helmet was kind of like your version of a shiesty. Like, yeah, that, that was exactly like, what it was. It dude. gave you all that confidence and uh, you were a mystery. Dude, and putting on like a mascot costume makes you feel like you can't get hurt. Yeah. Because you're like, this isn't my skin this hitting is for the, the ground. This is for the this is for the school. Yeah, and you're like, then you really hurt yourself, and you're like, oh, that's not a helmet. <laughs> like, that's just poorly placed styrofoam. <laughs> that, it makes it heavier for me to move. Actually, just blood stains in the mascot costume. All right, so we're definitely at time, but I have to ask before we get out of here today. <laughs> yeah. What is the biggest come up you ever had as a mascot? Like in terms of like my life's a fucking movie, dude. Oh. Like fucking like Yeah, oh yes. Dude. Um okay, so uh life's a movie moment. I think okay, so I I got two answers for you. So I met Mike Schmidt in the nice. mascot costume. Hell yeah. And I talked with the Philly fanatic <sighs> while he was in his costume. No. In character so or man to man? We both well, I was out <laughs> Father of line to son? and he was talking to me. He was like 
he like was talking to me through his uh, uniform, which is like a big no no. You know? Oh, was, yeah, dude. And he was talking to me, but we were in the back, and he was like, "You were really good out there, man." It was like an open. <laughs> it was like yes. when you do good, and he's like, "He's like, dude, you got a future in this." Yes. You know, I really like that thing you do with. I your heard hand. a couple of people say you were you were uh, you were their favorite actor. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. It's like. like Good set, you know? <laughs> <laughs> dude, that's so sick. That's like fucking magician's code shit. Yeah. He respected you enough, dude. And then, uh, the other one, um, yeah, like movie moment, more like Blue Mountain State moment, right? That's I, not uh, what I was picturing. Yeah, 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 yeah. I remember I would like, uh, I would eat like edibles and stuff before I would get in the costume <laughs> sometimes. And uh, I went to a D3 school and uh, I had to mascot the whole weekend, right? Like it's literally like yeah. comedy, dude. You fucking... And uh, the last <laughs> game of the weekend was uh, women's basketball, yes. right? And it was in conference and it was not great. It was like, I'm talking, it was like, 28 to 32 in the fourth quarter like we were struggling right and this pop around he's like kicking my ass dude (laughs) right so the ball rolls over to my feet and i grab it and the game's not very interesting at this point so the ref asked for it back and i like put it behind my back and the crowd starts going like oh dude so then the ref's like all right stop fucking around like give it back to me and i go like this right and i don't give him the ball and everybody's like i'm holding it back there and everybody goes crazy and then i stand next to the basket while this is happening so he's like, all right, dude, I'm not messing around. Like, give it to me. So I put both my hands back there. And I go, oh. And then he goes, he teased me up, dude. He gave me a technical foul. No! He gave me a technical foul, which I didn't even know you could do. <laughs> right? So, like, I'm trying to sell the bit. Now the crowd's going fucking crazy. I'm yeah. like, what? You know, I'm, like, kicking over chairs. Yeah, dude. Go. That's so much fun. Yeah, that was probably, like, my best, uh, also, best you, mascot You really moment. didn't learn your lesson, dude. You fucking broke your arm trying to be black, and then here you are globetrottering. Yeah, <laughs> fucking dude. ref. I was dude. waiting for you to be like, I thought fucking threw it over his head went in the basket <laughs> yeah. like, i was expecting just like a, a shot put into the fucking net it was like your classic dad faking out son <laughs> with a basketball dude and he, this ref was so angry that i had upstaged him dude i remember the athletic director's like dude what the fuck was that i was no like, yeah. showboat and i want a good clean mascot can game. you believe they can give text to the mascots <laughs> Bro, they scored 30 points. Yeah. Like, I was trying to liven up the crowd for Jesus a minute. Jesus Christ. Like, nobody made a noise until that. You know? Listen, Fire. he's got to do his job. I got to <laughs> do, do my <laughs> job. School spirit isn't something you could just pull out of thin air. So, like, are you high right now? I was like, no, I've been drinking all day. <laughs> <laughs> I would get, like, kicked out of, like, sporting events, like, uh, specifically baseball <laughs> games. All my roommates were baseball players. Logan or the mascot? Logan would get okay. kicked out okay. of those, okay. right, for talking shit. And then I would go in. For throwing would, Snapple bottles? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I, I learned would, from you, Dad. I would go in, get in the mascot suit, and come back out to the game and start, like, fucking around oh, with people good. as the mascot. Dude. Yeah, it was a small sick. school, dude. They really Brilliant. gave me way too much freedom Bro, with that thing. Bro, wait. Brilliant. You fucking, you fucking tin for sale them. I'm yeah. literally reading a book about a cop who would fucking, uh, uh, he would, like, go to someone, not in a cop uniform, rob them. And then go and sit in his car and wait for the the call about like robbery, and he'd be like, "I'm actually a block away." And then yeah. he'd put his police shit back on and show up and be like, "Hey, why don't you describe the guy to me?" Yeah, dude. But you would like fucking like pour a beer on someone, and he'd be like, "I'm gonna beat the shit out of you, get kicked out." And then you come back, come as, back the as the mascot, mascot person, pour a beer back. on him, and he's like, "I fucking love yeah, no, you." I was like, "This guy's not a piece of shit at <laughs> <Yeah>. all." <laughs> that's what that's what baseball managers do when they get kicked out of a game and they come back with like sunglasses on and they're like, "I told you to get out of here." Dude. All right. <laughs> They'd be like, Logan, we know you're drunk in there. I go, then call the other guy to be the mascot. Like, we don't have another guy. I go, exactly. <laughs> yeah, I go, like, Stop letting dude. me take the costume home. <laughs> but, but, like, if you could, like, pull off, like, a parent trap, like, du- duplicity kind of thing, and or multiplicity, and fucking, like... Be like fucking Hitler and FDR at the same time, and he's yeah. like, I, "I'm innocent, I swear." And then he runs away, and he rolls back in the wheelchair, it's like, <laughs> like a firefighter who starts fires to put him out. Yeah, yeah. dude, arson, that was you, arson dude. Theory, dude. Arson yeah. theory. dude, you were. A, <laughs> I would go in there and get kicked out because I was too rambunctious, <laughs> and I'd be like, "You know, all right, fine, I won't talk, but I'm gonna be an absolute menace." And you're now, a pep rally arsonist. Yeah, dude, and now I have full access to the court. <laughs> 
You try to tell a guy in a costume he's not allowed near a bench. You know? agree, right? Did you ever you have a moment that. where you were not wearing it and you were being a piece of shit and you like forgot you weren't wearing it? You're were like, oh. you can't say that to me. I met like, Gritty. Oh, you met Gritty too. I met Gritty. Bro, and, this is uh, like Mount Rushmore gritty, of mascots. Gritty big league the shit out of me. No, dude. I believe that. This is uh, this is right when Gritty was getting big. He was just on the Tonight Show, and I had been on. Uh, we were like all the mascots in the area go to Temple. For Temple's uh, halftime show, they do like a mascot basketball game and shit. Hell yeah. It was very fun. Mm -hmm. Hold a record, dude. Eight points. Um, I was Mask the only one with real dude. shoes and hands. Uh, <laughs> you know, everybody else was trying to shoot with like wings. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm fucking, you know. <laughs> Huge <laughs> advantage. Dude. So, and like, you know, I, they would send me these things by myself. So I would just like get super high and hang out. And uh, when we got there, Oh, uh, you know, we get like a, a like a list of what's going on and who's all there, and I see a bunch of people walking around in flyers gear, mm -hmm. and I was like, oh, like Gritty's probably here, but he wasn't on any of the document. Like, he was supposed to be right. a guest, and so they were sitting like across from me in the uh, back room where we're all getting changed, and I can clearly see that the guy's like getting ready to put on the orange boots and stuff, and I walk over to him and I was like, hey man, like. Uh, are you like you're gritty? I just wanted to say like you're, you're, yeah. you're hilarious, man. You're doing great. And he was like, I don't know, bro. And I was like, Oh, I was like, what? And he was like, I don't know who gritty is. I was like, relax, dude. I'm a mascot too. Yeah, like, you can you're drop. Like magician's coach. Yeah, you can drop like the bolt. <laughs> like you can like you fucking like I'm like I'm about to get angry. <laughs> He's like. He's like, I don't know where Gritty is, but like, I'll definitely tell him. Like, you <laughs> yeah, said, and I'm you're like, like, you're like, dude, you're wearing the bottoms right now. Dude, you're I wearing like, the half. I was like, dude, I've been a mascot since you've been a fucking social media student at Penn. <laughs> all right, like, you fucking, you piece of shit, dude. Dude, Bruce Wayne just walked up to Superman. He's like, so, dude, how's it feel being Superman? He's like, Superman, I thought you'd work with the Daily Planet. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about, dude. Uh, or the Clark Kent guy, but so then, I wear glasses. <laughs> and it was obviously like you could tell that I wasn't handling what he was saying. Like, like with grace at all. I was like, I was like, what are you being a dickhead for? You know? Like, and so Yeah, I'm not four years old, yeah, dude. I was like, like, I was like, all right, bro, whatever. And like walked back and like sat down, started getting changed. And I get a text from my boss. He goes, just found out Gritty's there. You need to get a picture with him. And I go, well, this is pretty awkward because me and Gritty just had some words <laughs> with each other. Gritty signed an NDA, apparently. He goes, uh, I don't know what that means. He goes, but you need to get a fucking picture with the orange guy, okay? So I had to go back up to Gritty and be like, listen, dude, uh, can we get a picture? And he was like, I don't know, man. We don't just do pictures like in the bag. I go, dude, it's just for my fucking job. I don't want to get a picture yeah. any more than you do. And he took one with me, and the school put it all over the yes. goddamn place, dude. <laughs> Let's yeah. go, dude. Dude, yeah, I had big mascot beefs throughout the city, That's dude. sick, dude. <laughs> I just love being like, I don't know, am I? And just imagining you being like, dude, <laughs> I got so angry. Because that's like what you tell like a like a person that yeah. asks you if you're the mascot, like a random. You're person. like I can't peel back the curtain. Like exactly, a child, so like right? not like a person, yeah, like a, a child. baby. Yeah, but like we're in the like I know you're not really an orange fuzzy monster, you <laughs> fucking asshole. He, <laughs> like, he like boops you on the nose. He's yeah, like, yeah. whatever you believe. <laughs> If you believe it to be true. He's like, if you close your eyes, he might get here, you know? Like, I was like, I no, I was ready oh. to hit him, dude. It made, me, it made me so angry. And I wasn't like an adult at all at yeah. the time. You know, I'm like 21. So I'm just <laughs> festering with rage, dude. I'm sitting there like, who the fuck does this guy think he is, dude? Oh, new mascot yeah, yeah. on the block. Oh, oh. So you're probably getting paid 30 grand a year, dude. Like, yeah, I'm fucking, like talking What's your real shit, job? Dude, yeah. Yo, going into a room of people and you, call, you tell a guy, like, aren't you gritty? And he's like, nah, man, not me. But he's the only one drenched in sweat. <laughs> <laughs> like, he's like yeah. dripping like, in sweat. He's like, I'm pretty around sure it's him you. Is in flyers gear. <laughs> You're like, all right, bro. He's like, chugging an orange Gatorade. Yeah. He's like, like, it's contractual. Dude, I actually hate this flavor. It felt like because I asked him it, he's like, now everyone's going to ask me about this, bro. <laughs> and I was so angry about it, but... Those were on that mascot time. That's beautiful, dude. Yeah, that I wish I asked great. sooner. I have so many more questions, but we'll just have you back on. Yeah, you we'll you climb the mountain again? For sure, dude. Fuck yeah, yeah, dude. This has been so much fun, guys. Yeah, dude, thanks, thanks for, so much on, for, for real. having me. This is awesome. This is like the, one of the most fun pods I've ever done. Dude, Fuck this yeah, is yeah so dude. Fun, this dude. is a blast. This was great. And we have the audio. And we have and the audio. We, have the, we triple check, we, baby. I panic. <laughs> did you? Did you three? Get fucking kisses, quick. Hell yeah, dude. This is awesome. I'm going to the highest level.